Good morning. And I am here at Windsor Castle this morning. Their set is beautiful and it's enclosed, which is good news because it's set to be a windy day. It does look right dry for the procession itself after the royal wedding, but the flag flying strongly here. The royal standard showing that the Queen is in here at the oldest inhabited castle in the world. Now, weather-wise, a storm is brewing, Storm Callan, and this is a live shot at the moment in Port Call on the south coast of Wales. The very rough seas here. I've seen the winds bringing up the waves, crashing over that barrier, and the winds here are gusting up to about 60, 65 miles an hour. Peak gusts so far this morning, 76 miles an hour at the Isles of Scilly, but widely 60 miles an hour along southern and western coast. The storm is set to move from southwestern areas of England and Wales up towards Scotland through the day. Warnings for up to 150 millimetres of rain and gusts of wind up to 70, maybe 80 miles an hour. So this morning, slow going on the roads, particularly for southwest England, Wales, northwestern parts of England and Scotland. High sided vehicles, very dangerous driving conditions. And with the leaves and trees in full leaf, there's a chance of those coming down, blocking drains and the risk of some localised flooding, debris flying and also delays to travel and cancellations. So check before you travel. Across southeastern areas, though, lots of warm weather around with temperatures again into the 20s. For the weather where you are in detail, go to itv.com forward slash weather. Friday, 12th of October, 2018, live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway. Good morning, our main news. The UK high street is suffering its worst year on record as store sales drop for the eighth month in a row. And it comes as the clothing chain Coast went into administration, putting 300 jobs at risk. There are fears that a further slump in sales in the run-up to Christmas could cause even more stores to shut down. Our chief correspondent Richard Gaysford is in Winchester for us this morning. Richard, there's clearly growing pressure on the government to try and step in and sort this out.